As we're flying the airplane, um, we're gathering science data so that uh, researchers can better understand the atmosphere. There's science that's going on that cannot be done any other way. It can't be done with a balloon. It can't be done with a power engine. Today we are in the hangar at Minden Tahoe Airport in Minden, Nevada. This is the home base for the Perlin project and we are getting the Perlin ready for shipment to El Calafate, Argentina. We're doing a number of flights here in Minden, Nevada, testing out a number of new systems and finding any other squawks that we're going to need to fix before we ship the airplane off to Argentina. And what the Perlan project has done is we've discovered a system called the Polar Vortex, which gives us waves up in the stratosphere where the air is going up and down, up and down, and we find the up part of that wave and we fly into that. We've tested our envelopes so that we know we're safe at these speeds and these altitudes close to 90,000 feet. So our next flight is no longer a test flight of just carefully taking little steps forward and, and, and running our measurements. On every one of our previous record claims, we knew there was wave going higher. So we're, we're really confident that we will this year find a wave that's going to take us to 90,000 feet. We're always descending through the air. The trick is to find some air going up faster than we are. At 76,000 feet, it's, um, it's, it's really a magical view. You, you look out and you see uh, a dark sky and you see a real thin light blue band. It starts out sort of dark blue and it gets lighter as it gets closer to the earth and you realize, wow, that's the, that's the atmosphere that, that protects all life on earth. And we're flying up in the very top of it. And we want to inspire the next generation of pilots and mechanics and airplane designers and builders. We're surfing in three dimensions in a wave you can't see. We may have done the impossible, but it's been a long-term dream. There's areas in the atmosphere where people haven't flown yet, and if you dream and study well, study hard, it's amazing what can be accomplished.